Hey guys, how's it going? We have some really awesome news, of course, this morning about Apple unveiling or a sneak peek as to potentially what they're going to be unveiling during the World Development Conference next week with some augmented reality cards. This is pretty cool. Now, the reason why it's pretty cool is because we all know, guys, it doesn't matter whether you like them or you don't like them, but Apple are a big deal. Trillion dollar company. And of course, the progress in VR especially has taken them more than 10 years in development because they were developing a headset with the wire tethered technology and then they decided to want to do something completely wireless with no cables of any kind so we're all anticipating some of the details next week as i mentioned before with especially the new software details as to what is potentially going to be capable to do and how the augmented reality glasses and vr headset or mixed reality headset may potentially work so let's go to the article very quickly just now about this new announcement so apple hid ar training card booster packs in the wwdc event page an interactive set of ar cards can be found on apple's wwdc event webpage in yet another example of its web-based ar format now this is pretty cool also of course because in terms of the actual format they're using web-based and we're all looking forward to what is called OpenXR which is going to enable a lot of developers to create AR and also VR um, apps on a web-based platform enabling any VR headset to be compatible with them as opposed to actually designing a specific um, app for each and every single headset which honestly after there's going to be about 20 or 30 different different competitors in the market would be a nightmare for all these developers and very costly to the consumer um, as well. So let's just continue here. Um, so each of the three cars have a different emoji, a memoji character on the front and a silhouette on the back. Tapping on each card presents a the cars so it can be viewed from any angle. Previous examples of Apple's ARs invite include a warp speed tunnel. You can move within a pinhole Apple logo with an entire mountain valley hidden inside. Now that sounds pretty cool. Apple doesn't usually leave hints within the invites, but people are sure to speculate. Use the link in the tweet below to jump directly to the AR.USDZ file in Safari. There is new AR experience in the Apple event website that a sticker card pack with each you can open. So let's just click on the link and see what's going to happen. All right, so we're inside here. Let's see what it's like. So it's just opening here. But yeah, guys, we're very, very excited about this because as I mentioned, it's a big deal that, a that Apple will actually be in the space. So now I'm using my mobile phone. So perhaps for the phone, it's a little print. Check it out. Uh, so can you just look here? Seems a little bit difficult. Let me just move back a little bit. Tap on the phone. Okay, object. Not quite sure what is supposed to happen, guys. But maybe because it's the phone, it's a little bit, it's a bit more difficult. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. I'm using an iPhone, iPhone 7, by the way. Let me try again once more, just, uh, just again. I didn't do it. I'm moving the phone. Oh, there's one car there. So you can see it there. All right, let's go closer towards it. Let's click on it. Oh, card is moving. It's opening. All right, so you can see it is on the floor. It's on our phone. It's different reason. Okay, here we click on one of the cards. Let's go closer to it. All right, there it is. Just it. It looks amazing. Let me just. Okay, there we go. You can see me again. Up, 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 up. Top secrets where I'm working, of course. Um, so yeah, it looks very exciting though that they are using that technology because of course we need more and more people to be able to be aware of these technologies, even though AR, I mean, for this specific example, honestly, it doesn't look great. Honestly, it looks okay. But I think for something like Apple, uh, it should look more, more amazing, more tremendously cutting edge. It doesn't look very cutting edge. It looks like something they could have done in literally five minutes on Spark AR or their own, of course, not Spark AR, but their own AR platform. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's good for the industry and we are very excited about potentially the announcements that they will be making next week. As I mentioned, are you guys excited? Leave a comment below. Let us know what you guys think because this, this could be a life gaming changer in our industry, guys. It could be a game changer. All right, guys, very quick news. I'll see you very soon.